Hey what's up guys, it's Easy Cubing, and in this video we're going to be unboxing the Super Cube as well as the Smart 4, both from Geiger. Let's get into it. Alright, so we're going to start off with the Super Cube as the first puzzle we unboxed in this video. Um, the second puzzle, the Smart 4, also looks really fun, and we'll do that second. Uh, starting off though with the Super Cube, the packaging looks super, super nice. Um, I really love how it looks like a person sitting in there. You can see it has its feet, its hands, and then the headphones. Super cool touch by, um, by Geiger for doing that. I really love it. This packaging right here also gives me kind of like this Mario kind of Pac-Man arcade vibe. Uh, look at it right there. Let me know if you guys uh, agree with me down below in the comments. Um, I really like it. I also, um, this caught my eye, the Bluetooth right here on the package, right? Like how could a Rubik's Cube be Bluetooth or how is it connected? That definitely caught my eye. So I'm excited to unbox it and see how that's going to work with the Bluetooth um, and a Rubik's Cube. I did watch some videos on it and there's some really, really cool stuff you can do. Uh, right here on the side of the box we have, it says smart sensors, real-time tracking, state recognition, and app enabled. So there's an app that comes along with this cube. Um, you don't need it to use it, but I would definitely recommend uh, getting the app if you're going to get this cube. And then here's the back of the packaging. As you can see, you can put it in front of an iPad or any type of uh, mobile device. So yeah, I would give this packaging an A+. Super, super clean. Um, it reminds me of like an action figure, right? So it looks like a person sitting inside it and then you have like the clear plastic around it. I uh, love this packaging. All right, so finally we get to unbox the cube. Um, I'm not going to lie, it was very hard for me to open. Uh, as you can see here, I probably should use a knife, uh, but luckily it did open up. Uh, the first thing you see when you unbox the cube and when you open it are these instructions right here. It tells you how to get the cube um, out of like the chair position. If you guys can see right there, you have to like cut these wires. And then you have to undo these little screws. You just twist them with your hands. Um, so super nice uh, packaging right there, the first thing you see. Um, I definitely, uh, it was definitely good that I saw that. Because if I didn't, I probably wouldn't know how, would have not have known how to get the cube out of the packaging. Um, but that's the first thing you see. And then you get the guy right here. I kind of thought it looked like a little, he was like on a throne, kind of like a chair, right? Doesn't it? Uh, I still have the chair thing in my room right now. But yeah, it looks like he's in a chair when you first pull it out. Um, and then this is the user manual right here. It comes in a lot of different languages. Um, English is obviously the language that I use. Uh, I found it and read, read a little bit about it. Um, not too much cool stuff to go in here, but it does explain everything about the cube. Um, a lot of it is also self-intuitive, uh, but it's also nice to have a user manual just in case you do have questions. You can always go to that um, and read up on it. Also in the box, you can see here we have a charger. Um, it's just a simple Android charger, which is nice, uh, so you could replace it uh, very easily. Um, it's not like a special charger for the cube, um, so that's always a good thing, right? You can just go and buy a new charger if you have to. Also, if you're wondering why I'm talking over the unboxing, I recorded all of this. I was about 15 minutes into the video of footage and I checked the audio and it just completely messed up. I'm not sure what happened. My mic was plugged in correctly or at least I thought it was. I mean, I guess it wasn't. Uh, yeah, it just sounds like staticky. You can like barely hear my voice. Definitely not YouTube worthy. Uh, so I do have to talk over this part of the unboxing, uh, but it is all genuine and real. Uh, so don't worry. All right, so here is the cool part that I was talking about. So you undo these little screws with your hands. Um, they just kind of pop out and then uh, the Geiger cube comes out of his throne, or at least that's what I call it. Uh, also, down below, let me know in the comments, what should I name this cube? What do you guys think? I definitely want to give it a name uh, because it reminds me of a little person, right? It wears headphones, you plug it in at night. Um, it's like a little human being Rubik's Cube, if that makes sense. I don't know. It's kind of weird to think about it like that, but I want to give it a name, and I don't have any ideas. So if you have some ideas, let me know down below in the comments. Anyways, back to the unboxing. Here's the first view of the Geiger cube. Um... I love the headphones. That's the one thing that I really like about this. It sets it apart from other cubes. As well as looking like a person. Um, I checked to see if the legs and arms move right here. They don't. I was kind of disappointed. I wish I would have been able to move. You can stand him up and like put him in some other funny positions. Unfortunately though, he is stuck sitting down like that. Which isn't the biggest deal in the world. But I would have liked if he was able to move his arms and legs. Um, but I guess he cannot. Which is alright. Alright, so right here I had to get a pair of scissors to unbox the cube. Um, I just got them downstairs. Um, in the packaging, it tells you to use scissors to cut these wires out, and that's actually how you release um, him. I'm actually not too sure why they're there. I think they keep him in place when he's in the in the chair, like in like that little throne thing. I'm really not too sure why they're there. Um, but as you can see, I was struggling to get it off. You have to take off the earphones first, and then you have to take off the body, and then you just kind of pop right out. Uh, so not too hard to take 
off and get to the queue, but a little more complicated than I thought. I don't know. It's all in the user manual, but I obviously didn't read it when I got the cube. Uh, this is the first time I was taking the um, headphones off. As you guys can see, which I think I'll show here in a second, the headphones is how you charge the cube. So yeah, check it out. So you charge the cube right there with the port. And then see those little like uh, the little needles kind of, that's what I would call them. Um, they plug right into the side of the cube. It kind of looks like an ear hole, uh, earring piercing right there, right? So they plug in there. It's like his ears, the green and the blue centerpiece. And that's how you charge the cube at night. Uh, also, in a later clip, you guys will see uh, when you plug the cube in, the headphones light up, which is really cool. It's kind of like a little, like a nightstand almost. Uh, you can see it in my store right now. I'm not sure when this video is uploaded, um, but on my YouTube store, there's a video of it right now. All right, and here is the first view of the cube. Um, the stickers look like stickers you would replace normally on a speed cube, like if you got it from like speed cube shop or the cubicle. Um, I really enjoy these colors. Uh, the blue is probably a little different than what I'd normally use. Uh, but other than that, I really, really like them. Uh, super bright. Um, I'm not sure what the word I'm looking for is. Maybe like fluorescent. Uh, the red on camera also looks a little bit duller than it does in person. In person, it doesn't look a little brighter than that. Um, also, the symbol, the G, is on the yellow. And a lot of speed cubes, it's on the white. Overall, nothing too special for these stickers. Um, just pretty base stickers. But they are super nice. Nothing to complain about as well. Uh, but this cube is not meant for these stickers. It is meant for the Bluetooth and the app part of it. So these stickers do get a thumbs up by me. But it is all about the app. Alright guys, so here's my first solve on the cube. Or maybe it wasn't. Maybe I got an 18 second solve for the first time on camera. Uh, but no, actually, yeah, it definitely wasn't my first solve. This is a good solve I got. It was actually my third or fourth solve. Um, but the cube feels super fast and tacky, if that makes sense, you know? It kind of feels like you're going to overturn at times, but the magnets inside the cube help you from not overturning and helping kind of loose and wild turns become more precise. Uh, yeah, so I really like the way it feels. Uh, it's still super fast, tacky, and clacky. There we go. That's a much better solve with the Geiger cube. Here it is right there. 11.850. Super smooth. Uh, like I said, the colors are super good, uh, easy to see. I love the stickers. Um, also, the red does look uh, a little bit brighter in person. It does look a little bit more dull on the actual camera. Uh, but yeah, I love it. So let's get into the app of this cube, how to connect it. Uh, let's see how all of that works because that is what sets this cube apart from other competitors on the market, right? Like I was saying, it has the headphones to charge it, and that obviously has like the body. So when you're uh, when you go to bed, you put it in the body, the stand, that's like this, and it sits there. So you guys like that. So what sets it apart is the app, obviously. Uh, so let's get into that and let's see uh, what it's like. All right, guys. So we just got the app set up. I had to charge the cube real quick before I set it up. It wasn't charged when it came. Uh, so that's a good thing to know when you guys do order yours that you when it comes in, it is not charged. So first thing to do. First thing that you want to do is plug it in and get it charged. Um, anyways, I got it charged. I set it up through my Bluetooth. You had to get the Super Cube app, which I showed on my screen. And then I will show you guys all about this. So I'm going to share my screen right now on the video so you guys can see this. So right here we have the tutorial, uh, game, battle. We have a rocket ship. I'm not sure what the middle one is. Then we have a timer. And then the profile up here, you can see user... ID, gender, region. I'm not from China though, so that's not correct. Let's change that to the United States. Let's see, where is it? Wow, they have all the regions on here. Um, okay. Well, I'm not sure what, what where the US is. I didn't see it there. I will do that later though off camera.
right now, I think I want to try the battle one. Or, let's try tutorial, actually, just because the first thing that's on the list. Okay, cube basics, white flower, white cross, top layer, middle layer, yellow cross, yellow face, bottom corners, edges. Oh, okay, so what this is actually going to show you how to solve the cube. Very, very cool, guys. I would like that a lot. Uh, nice. So you can know how to solve it. Let's just try the cube basics. Let's see. Okay, let's start with the cube basics, all right? The cube consists of six faces. Each face has nine stickers. There are 54 stickers in total, all right? Okay. Tap screen continue. Center piece only has one color. There are six centers and their positions are fixed, okay? Edge piece has two different colors. There are 12 edges. Their positions can, their positions are changeable. Corner piece, corner piece has three different colors. There are eight corners. Their positions are changeable. Wow, this is a very, very nice tutorial, guys. In this tutorial, the stickers position is divided into five areas. Top face, top layer, middle layer, bottom layer, and bottom face. Cool. Orientation, the fixed centers are used to identify the orientation of the cube. In this tutorial, white center is always facing up, yellow center is always facing down. The orientation of other faces should be confirmed according to the actual situation. Sweet. Notation, a letter by its own equals 90 degree clockwise turn. A letter followed by the hyphen, kind of clockwise, a letter followed by two equals a double turn. The following letters are used to express the rotation of the cube. Wow guys, this is very cool. So if you wanted to buy this cube for someone, if they've never like solved a cube before in their life, this would be a great cube. Um, watching this with the app, obviously a lot of people have phones too. So you could watch this um, and learn how to solve it through the app. I love that guys. Layer by layer method, this lesson. Okay, the white flower. Okay, cool. So I am going to go back on that. That's the tutorial how to solve it. There's all the eight uh, steps. Let's see, there are eight steps, I think. Yes, eight steps. So this could be a separate video where I do go over this, right? Um, I think I actually might do that, actually. So let's go into the game. Let's see what this is. Uh, cube Escape, Cube Rush, Pixel Cube, Pixel Puzzle, Color Memory, Cube Brush, and Cube Miner. Wow, guys, there's a lot to unpack here for this video. All right, so to activate the cube, as always, you turn on the app. I am going to share it down right now. So you want to take the earbuds off this tank from its body and then when you turn it it turns on so it should be on right now I just gotta find it okay All right, so here are the six different game modes. We have Cube Escape, Cube Rush, C Color Memory, Pixel Puzzle, Cube Crush, and Cube Miner. We'll start off with Cube Escape. Um, I just already completed level one, but we'll do it again. Uh, basically, this level, you have to guide the cube to the end of this little maze right here. And the way you do it is you turn the uh, face of the color ahead of you. So right here, you see my little guys on white, and then you guys see blue is in front of him. So if I turn the blue face like this, here goes the next one. So I turn red, yellow, uh, green, orange, blue, white, white, red, green, orange, yellow, blue, um, white, and then green to finish it off. And it goes in the portal. And that's how you play this game. Uh, the more you play and the farther you get in the game, the harder the levels get. Um, but it's a good way to practice not looking at the cube while you turn it and just seeing the colors. I actually really enjoyed this game a lot. All right, so the next game we're going to go over is Cube Brush. Let me solve this real quick before we get into that. All right, so here now we have Cube Brush. Uh, so what this one is, uh, follow these steps to twist your cube, the more steps you can follow, the higher score you get. So you want to hold it with white, blue, and orange like this. And then you're just going to copy what it tells you to do right there. Uh, and you have a certain time limit, see the bar is slowly going down. If you don't do it in that time limit, uh, you lose. And then the more you play, obviously it gets harder moves, so it will stack. You'll have to do two moves instead of one, and so on and so forth. 
So I didn't see who was there, so I'm gonna do it wrong on purpose. Let's say I do it wrong, I'm gonna do this. I get the X and I lose. So I got an E on that one. It definitely is not my favorite game, but it still is a cool little feature that the app uh, does have. All right, the next game we're gonna look at is called Color Memory. Turn the correspondent center of your queue according to the colors appearing order. The more colors you can complete within the time limit, the higher score, the higher your score will be. So, orange, okay, and then red, um, blue and white, green and red. white and blue so the more you play this game the faster uh, it gets also you only have 15 seconds each time and let's say I do a wrong move so it's going to be red and orange if I turn green you see my health bar goes down right and then it also obviously resets so here we have yellow and green orange and green orange white and oh no the wrong oops Oh, I think I'm doing order as well. So let's see if I turn blue first. Okay, yeah, so you have to do an order the way it has. So here I'd have to go blue, red, blue. So blue, red, blue. Cool. So now we have orange, white, and blue. Let's see. Orange, white, and blue. Just like that. All right, also another really cool game on the app. Uh, I'm going to do some wrong moves on purpose and lose, and I want to see what I will get. I got a D, so pretty bad. All right. The next game we have is the Pixel Puzzle. Let's check this one out. Uh, this one, all you have to do is just make this pattern right here. So I'm making it on the yellow one. It's a little flower pattern. So, do that real quickly. Orange and red, okay. And then blue goes right here, and then green right there. Just like that, check that out. There it is, matching um, the cube on there. Sweet. Uh, and there's, we'll do one more. So same, it's a pretty similar thing. Red, green, yellow, and blue. So just like that. Uh, an A. Cool. That is that game mode. Also another fun one. Uh, next we'll do Cube Crush. So this one just basically like looks like Guitar Hero. Uh, so we got red. You just turn it. Uh, I think that's white. Yeah. So it's just like a. Uh, it says the key pieces are falling, but I kind of look at it as a guitar coming down, and you gotta like play the correct strings um, in order to not fail. And then you get combos as well. So let's say you turn the wrong face. It looks like nothing happens. I don't get my combo. If I don't turn it in time though, let's see. Do I lose? Okay, you can see my uh, health bar on the top right there. It seems like I have uh, 10 lives maybe. Yeah. So these are all good games to help you get better at cubing um, by not directly solving the cube, uh, which is pretty interesting, right? It's a different way, to, it's a different take on it. Uh, and I think it can help because if you get bored of just solving the cube over and over, you could play these games to help you get better at like recognizing uh, sides, um, not looking at the cube when you're turning it, and then building that memory base of not having to think about what you're doing when you turn it, right? So if I'm looking here and I see orange, I'm gonna think, okay, that's my left hand, I'm gonna go orange right there, blue, blue. Uh, I like this because I know for me, cubing can become a little bit repetitive, especially if it's just three by three. So at this game and what this app does is it brings a whole new twist to it. All right, so let's just not turn these last couple and we'll just uh, lose this game and we'll see what we scored. We did an E, we did awful, okay? All right. And then the last game we're gonna check out is called Cube Miner. Collect coins to activate the exit and escape within move limits. The more coins you collect and the fewest moves used, the higher your score will be. All right, so I already did one, one through four, but we'll go to level one to show you guys what it looks like. So it's way you have a scramble is gonna do it. So you guys see that little magician right there. He has to touch that coin and he has to enter that little portal down there. So. If we go right, um, you see that he where he is right now, so I gotta put him in the portal. So I'm gonna put him back and then down like that. And he enters, and that's how you clear a level. 
and I got an S, which is the lowest amount of moves possible. So this one, if you do too many moves, um, you will lose. So let's try level four out. Okay, so it looks like I want to do one. Oh no, what just happened there? Oh God, I was holding it wrong. I'm gonna lose one, okay. No more moves remaining, level failed. So if you only have a certain amount of moves to do it, I obviously couldn't do it there and I lost. Um, I think what this one helps you do is it also be more precise in what your moves. It helps you be more precise when turning the cube and actually think about what you're doing. Um, I think the best way to do this one is just to, be, just to do it fast and see how fast you can do it without thinking too much. All right guys, and now for my favorite game mode that this cube has to offer is the battle section. I hear this little green one, so we're gonna click on that. Uh, let me solve this real quick. You guys can see my stats. I've been playing around with it a little bit. Okay. So you can see I've had 16 matches. I won eight of them. My best is 11.2. Uh, basically, I get matched up with someone. So right now I'm getting matched up against Antonio from China. Uh, it gives you a solve. So you guys both get the exact same solve when you're going against somebody. And you just got to follow it. You have 60 seconds to scramble the cube and match your partner. If you don't do scramble it correctly or you don't uh, scramble it in time, you automatically lose. Uh, so there really is no way to cheat this. Let's see. Also, if you false start, there's a 10 second timer before it starts. If you false start, you automatically lose too. So let's see if I can win right here. Let's see. Oh, I false started. Look at that. You false start, you lose. Uh, I guess I DNF right there and lost. This guy had no. Okay. There we go guys, 11.80, a much, much better solve right there. Uh, that was a super easy cross. I just beat uh, Bernhard Athlete. he had a 15.33. So this is my by far my favorite game mode. I think I'm making an own separate video just on this game mode because there is a lot you can do with this. Uh, anyways, let's go into the last thing and check it out. Uh, you can all see all your stats right here. Look at that, the record is 4.21, Rafa. Let's check it out, all these insane solves across the country. Or across the world, actually. Look at that. Luke Garrett from America with a 5.9. Geiger, Johnny. Yeah. So if you ever see Easy Cube on here, it's probably me and you are battling me. Uh, but yeah, there's all the stats. And then the final thing I wanted to show you guys. Um, well, there's two more things, actually. So right here is just a timer. So if you just want to solve it yourself, uh, you can use like KO timer or whatever. So I'm just going to do a quick little hand scramble here. And then once I'm done scrambling the cube, I just click on the screen. And then now once I turn it, it's gonna niche, it's gonna automatically start the timer, and then once I finish it, it will automatically be done. So let's do this real quick. Fourteen point four zero and pretty bad solve, but uh, you can do this all the time as well, so it, it's easy because you don't have to touch the cubes. You get like a real, a real time of how fast you actually solve it um, from start to finish. You have your 5.97 turns per second, 86 moves, and then you could also change this up here where you see your average time, your average uh, of five solves, your best time, your worst time, your average turn per second. A lot of really cool stats right there. And the final thing I want to show you guys is this right here. So it's the rocket ship down there. Follow me to solve the cube. So we're gonna, we're gonna do an, uh, just a simple scramble. Or actually no, we'll, just, we'll completely scramble it. So basically what this mode does, it will solve it and no matter where you have it scrambled, um, I think this would be super enjoyable for someone who is new to cubing and just wants to get it solved and to see it solved. Uh, I really like this, so we'll start with this. Follow these steps. So I wanna go white, orange, and blue. Like this, okay. 
you can see it's a little bit slower so I'm guessing this is meant for uh, new cubers because obviously if you know how to solve it yourself and you can solve it fast you can just do it like that um, this isn't God's number though I was a little bit surprised by that you would think they would have it down to just 20 moves instead of you know some 30 I did one earlier and it was 33 moves uh, but nothing to complain about their news still isn't bad. Put that down. One more. Yep. I can see it. I think I just did this. Yep. And then right there. Cool. And that will show you how to solve the cube. Yeah, I saw the cube in 47.22 seconds. Um, also, I just saw this there. I'm going to scramble it again. Um... You can adjust the speed, so if I did super, let's see what that does. Okay, it will turn how you actually want it. Cool. There you go, guys. So that is the full Geiger Cube um, unboxing on this channel. The app, there was a lot to um, unbox there, and there was a lot to go over in the app. Uh, but wow, this is my first ever Smart Cube. I mean, I do have this one as well, the X Mars Cube, which is a little bit different than a super cube right this is this cube is a little different than a super uh than a smart cube sorry but this is my first ever uh smart cube which is that is attached to a normal rubik's cube if that makes sense there are some other on the there are some other smart cubes in the market so i will have to unbox some other ones um and compare it to this one but i'm really really impressed by this guys uh, I also read online that the charge time lasts up to three weeks. So if that is true, that's another uh, good thing in my books. But overall, I have nothing bad to say about the Gecko Cube. These stickers are super nice. The cube flow is really good. It comes with magnets. Um, the app is amazing. The I love the battle feature. I love that I could just get on here and race anyone, any time of the day, and get better at myself. Um, it also keeps track of how many wins you have. So you want to push yourself always when you're battling. You don't want to lose and mess up your record. Uh, but it shows you how to solve the cube. There are fun games on there. So overall, guys, I give the Geiger an A plus in my books. If I were you, I'd recommend buying one. They only come in at forty five dollars, so actually they're not too expensive for all the stuff you get with this app because this app is free. I would definitely recommend getting one. All right, so now that we finished unboxing the Geiger Cube, we can get into the second part of the unboxing. Pretty crazy, right? More than half the unboxing. So we'll set this up. We will set these two up in the background. You guys can look at them. But now we have the Smart 4, um, also from Geiker. So this is not a Rubik's Cube, but it is a puzzle. And I think you guys would enjoy looking at this. Zoom out a little bit. There it is. Uh, so let's get this plastic off and let's get this thing opened. Right here on the side, we have a Bluetooth smart intelligent bot, AI referee, stats and replay, online battle, mini game, USB-C, and lights indications. On the other side, we have connect four in a row in any direction before your opponent does. Cool, so this is a 3D way to play this game. Like it says right there, AI feature 3D strategy board game. So let's unbox this. Move that out of the way a little bit. Uh, the packaging feels very firm. I like it. It has a kind of a, not a gloss finish to it, but it just feels really nice. Quick start guide. The goal is to connect four pieces in a row in any direction. You can choose head to head mode, two player or robot. Easy, medium, hard. The goal is to turn out, turn out all the lights pressing on a button. And then here is the actual smart board. That's what I'm gonna call it. The Geiger smart board. Okay, that was pretty hard to get out. Anyways, there we go with that. Uh, let's get the charger and I guess start charging it because I doubt it is, uh, I doubt that it is charged because the speed cube uh, from Geico was not charged when it came. So I'm gonna plug it in real quick, let it charge for a little bit, and then we will shoot more of the video. All right guys, so we have it charged right now. Um, I did get the app as well, it's right here. It is called Smart4 on the App Store. My phone's a little bit dirty. Uh, I'll share it with you guys. 
and there it is. So I think it's out by clicking this one time. Or you hold it down, there you go. You can see that. Okay, let me fix the camera. It is your turn, right? So. Oh, it's always hard for it's always hard getting that first piece out, especially on the black side. There we go. So I guess I put a white piece where he went. Okay, it is my turn now. I want to go right here. Okay, he goes right there. Oh, I need to stop him from getting forced. I'm gonna go right there. Okay. He's gonna go right there. He is a master, so we will see how good he is. I'm gonna go right here. Okay, one, two, three. Okay, he's playing defense right now. Um. All right, you can see that he also stacked as well, so. Hmm. So I think that you, if you're gonna stack it to win, you have to get like four stacks in a row on the second level, if that makes sense, right? I can't have like one here, one not, and then one bottom and one there, right? Oh well, oops, so it looks like he just stacked on top of me right there. Is it my turn now? Okay. Oh, okay, now I got three in a row. Let's see what he does. I'm guessing if I put this black piece right here, he's just gonna immediately stack. Yep, I was right, okay. All right, let's see. Um, I'm gonna go right there. Oh no, did I just lose? Oh no, I almost lost. Wow. So I'm gonna actually just give it to him. I'm, I'm gonna let him win right here. Uh, just to see how it ends. And then he puts his piece there. Wow, okay, so the AI beat me. Uh, it was a decent game, um, but he did beat me. All right, so I'm gonna clear all these pieces off the table. It looks like the app is mainly used for head-to-head, -head, uh, the AI master, and then the online battle. Uh, just like the other cube, you could face anyone across the world. We're not going to do that. It's pretty self-explanatory. You're going to get on there. You're going to just face someone um, across the world, maybe in your same country. Who knows? Uh, but I will definitely try that off camera. I think you guys understand how that works, right? The first of four wins. I do like that it's not a robot, though. So you definitely can get very good at this game by playing others that you don't know. And then here are the four ways you can win. Check it out cross up four in a row or up and down, right? Cool, so let's try this. Uh, so we have easy, medium, hard, easy, medium, hard, and then head to head mode, which is probably the most common used thing. Uh, let's try easy on lights out again. Oh, that's how easy it is. So the way this works, if you guys don't understand, is if I click, uh, so let's say I click this one, the um, the ones that are touching it, so it'd be like the edge pieces in a Rubik's Cube, go out. So if I click the Geiger middle one, this, this slide will go out, this one, this one, and this one. So for this level, I'm gonna click this one right here, like this, and I win. But at the same time, I think when I do click these ones, the corner pieces go on, so it says here the adjacent lights turn on. So I would wanna do this oh my god I'm biting the whole board up right now I did not do it on this level hmm 
Wow, I think I need a reset. Uh, I think this one beat me, so let's try this again. Very cool, so... Oh! I chose a hard low on accident. Alright, let's see if we can do it. So if I click this one right here, this one will light up, that one will go away, this one will go away. No, this one will stay lit up. Oh, there we go, it's be a hard level. And I'm guessing this just goes on for on and on and on and on. Um, this is actually a pretty fun game. And it brings something else to the puzzle. So if you get bored of just playing Connect 4, you can always do this game mode, which is called Lights Out. Very, very cool. All right, guys, it's going to be all for this video. We unbox the Smart 4 um, puzzle game from Geiker, as well as the Super Cube from Geiker. Um, I really, really love this. I'll definitely be making some more videos on this. I would also recommend buying the Super Cube. Um, it has so many cool features to it, unlike any other Rubik's Cube that I've seen so far. I know there are a couple other ones in the market, like the Gans uh, Smart Cube and then the Go Cube, I think is what it's called. So there are some other ones in the market, but I need to get my hands on those before I can compare it. But I do love this one, and for a price of $45, it's gonna be hard to beat. So I'll definitely try the Gans ones out and see if I like it. Anyways guys, as always, make sure to like the video and subscribe. Stay safe, have a good day, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.